when I was 14 years old. Uh, I was in the attic, lurking around with my mother. Came across some really old Christmas lights, like the C7 screwing style bulb. And she said, Maki, wouldn't it look nice if you put these on the house? So that's where it began. Everything in my whole schedule of the year is judged by the day I want to begin Christmas decorating. It's just like you get up and you brush your teeth in the morning or you put on your socks and you tie your sneakers. To me, when September or October comes, it's natural for me to be doing lights. It becomes very tedious to wrap them all and then go in and out, bring them out, record them. A little more. I got 34 full days recorded in my book. So I consider a full day sunrise to sunset. There's 190,000 lights, but there's 1,720 strands. Every strand has 100 lights, and then all the rest is made up between your candy canes, lollipops, snowflakes, stars, and all the animals, which is hard to factor in, but as a rough and very close 190,000. You do a wonderful job. It's a Thank really you. good thing that you're doing here. My name is Mark Robillard, and I did this amazing Christmas light display. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas. I think it makes the community come together. They all know that, you know, the weekend right before Christmas, I'll have Santa and his elf out here and free hot chocolate and cookies and cupcakes and popcorn for the public. And now that it grew from a few sets of lights to almost 2,000 sets of lights, now everybody more expects to come by here and see it. So uh, I try to outdo myself every year and give the town and people something nice to look at.